So verse number 20. Sarva bhūte suye nikam Bhavam abhya mikshate Avivaktam vivakteshu Tatsgyanam vidhi sattvikam Purutatvena tut yatsgyanam Nana bhavan prutak vidhan Vetti sarveshu bhuteshu Tajgyanam vidhi rajasam Yattu krushna vade kasmin Karye sakta mahitukam Atatvarthava dalpamcha Tattamasamudahrutam So I thought of to chant these three verses so that we can cover these three verses together. So that was the purpose. How about? So as we are in 18th chapter, so Lord Krishna after summarizing both Karma Yoga Sadhana and Jnana Yoga Sadhana. So he comes up with a new concept that he tries to talk about Jnana Vyavahara and Karma Vyavahara. So the process of knowing and the process of doing. So Jnana is called as Karma Chodana. So it is the cause of Karma. So what sort of Jnana? So we called as opera vidya, any other knowledge, other than self-knowledge. Now, also he said, look, when you look at this karma, so there are three things. So when he says karma means there are three things, also jnana, there are three things. So jnanam geyam parikyata iti trividha. Karanam karma karta also trividha, trividha. So that we call as triputi. Then next he said, when you look at this jnana, karma and karta, so these three also are being divided into three categories based on the gunas. Even though, as we discussed, the guna concept we Vedantin talks, but it is actually taken from Sankhya philosophy. They are very good in this. That's why whenever we see something good in anywhere, we pick it up. We don't have any problem. How? So while discussing, so first he thought of why not? Let us take first Jnana. So he wants to analyze that there are three types of Jnana. So the first he takes it as Sattvika, second one is Rajasika, third one is called Tamasika. Verse number 20, Sattvika Jnanam, verse number 21, Rajas Jnanam, and verse number 22, Tamasa Jnanam. So before going into, let us now look at in a reverse way, because let us go from known to unknown, which is easier for a common person. So if you look at, a common person, common person looks at himself or herself as physical body. Because whatever the person is able to experience, whatever is available for sense perceptions, person considers that that is all about it. So we call that technically as called Dehatma Buddhi. So that means Atma Dehaiti. So one's oneself is nothing but called body. So that means the person looks at this self as mortal body. And to them, we look at them called one group very much. 
we call as charvak in english we call hedonist yavad jivet sukham jivet that's fantastic as long as you are alive you live live happily that's fantastic that line that much okay so with that logic then what runam krutva ghrutam pibet so even if you go for debt but don't worry enjoy so put your hand in others pocket and enjoy your life you understand doesn't matter so we go one step ahead you know beg borrow or steal <laughs> this is the new language okay so doesn't matter so enjoy your life why the logic is what bhasme bhutasya dehasya punaragamanam kuta have you ever seen if the body is cremated in the cremation ground that fellow has ever come back from the cremation ground so after all it is one life that is how some religion also highlights each one life and of course they contradict it okay let us not get into so that means it's very simple this people will be seen as the horse comes we call those who look at that one's own self is limited to this mortal body and they consider they are most rational people they are brilliant people they believe in only scientific reasons analysis blah 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 shastra says they are or that gyanam is called tamasic gyanam tamas gyanam it fantastic then what about rajas gyanam we will give the summarize then we will see the verse quickly what is this rajas or rajasic gyanam now the person who looks at there is do you know little bit development takes place hmm. the person who looks at this body as everything is a very curious fellow once in a while looks at the newspaper once in a while reads uh, sorry sees the television or now it is the internet social media so comes across a news that there is a jati smara we call technically jati smara means the one a child prodigy the one who is able to remember the previous life there are some news appears in the tv channel or in social media lot of things happens so person wakes up how is it possible that a child prodigy the person who is not able to say sare ga ma pa da ni sa not able to child remember common child this fellow starts singing left right how is it possible so that means there is something more than this body there is something called previous life there is something called future life so there is some type of curiosity and that person starts looking at the scripture because the person looks at look this body what i see or what is available for the sense perception is not enough so he looks at little differently because he does not believe like first category because first category of people they don't believe in mind so for them what is mind mind is nothing but called as a brain plus neurological wirings <laughs> they say very nicely <laughs> brain plus a neurological wiring is called mind for common this first category they are hedonists but this person comes up with say no mind is something more than that so that means the person who believes in past life there is present life also there will be future life so when this person starts believing in this three so we call that person as holding called rajasic gyanam but there is a problem will shastra will talk in fact in india so everybody whether you are a christian muslim or hindu even though your brain is being washed brain washing they have done still people believe in this concept that's why shraddha tarpanam is very important so they everybody wants in india especially whether you are christian muslim makes no difference so they want to have a especially male child i don't know why okay because this is the logic okay not i don't know why so that male child will do tarpanam for me male child will do shraddham for me after my death can you see this <laughs> the gene starts talking so that means these people believe in 
future life. And they know that the body is not everything. So there is something called mind. But they have a problem. What is that problem? The problem is the first one believes in only sukshma, Stula Sariram. Second one believes in stu, Sukshma Sariram. But he believes that there are plenty of Sukshma Sariram. So I am, you, each one is different. So each one is, do you know, different, absolutely no problem. That's why Ananta Guna comes. So as many zivas, as many individuals, that many consciousness. So this is the limitation in the second category. But third category comes forward, hey, it's not like that. Actually, Aham Atma Iti and that Atma is Chaitanya Purushaham. I am Consciousness Principle. So he comes up this like, for a common person, we can look at this bulb, that olden days bulb. So for a common person, so what is, what gives light? Light comes from the bulb. Fantastic. Now, the second category, bulb is nothing. Bulb is just external, but there is a filament. So filament makes, gives the light. So filament is everything. In fact, there are many filaments. That's why many lights. This is the second category. But third category comes forward. Hey, hey, filament is not everything. There is something common. And there is only one thing exists. That is what? Called electricity. So that is the last one. Because we can take different type of examples or we can say this point. We also take, this is a common example we say very carefully in Shastra. Now you are able to see the light. Where are you able to see light? Tell me where is, when I show my hand here. So where is light? So generally mind will say light is here. Light is in the finger. Do you see that light is also on the top of my finger? Do you see that there is in between the gap, there is also light? We don't see, but there is light or not? This in between two fingers, there is light or not? On the top of my finger, there is light or not? Hey, one light that is pervading everywhere. So wherever light is reflected, now that is visible to me and I say, fingers, there is a light. But in reality, light is everywhere or not? And one light exists or not? Do I have only two lights? Even though there are two balls or so many balls. But that one light exists. It's simple logic, okay? Same thing also, that one Atma. So one Chaitanya, one consciousness principle, that pervades everything. So the one who understands is called here Sattvika Jnana. Is it clear? So with this background, now let's look at what Lord Krishna wants to say, explains in which way. He says, Sarva Bhuteshu Enaikam Bhavam Abhyam Ikshate Avivaktam Vivakteshu Tad Jnanam Vidhi Sattvikam. He brings first Sattvikam. So, yena jnana, by which knowledge? So, by the help of which knowledge, ikshyate, one is able to see. So, this understanding should be as good as I am seeing through my eyes. So, one is able to see, one is able to understand. What is able to understand? Ekam, the non-dual, avyam, imperishable, avivaktam, that which is undivided, bhavam, the reality, the self. Vibhakteshu sarvabhuteshu In all divided being, vidhi, may you know, tat jnanam sattvikam iti. That jnanam is called sattvik jnanam. 
So that means the one who is able to see the knowledge by which the one who is able to see this non-dual imperishable that which is undivided self in all divided beings that is called that knowledge is called sattvika jnana as i gave you the example of light when we look at this aspect here one needs lot of maturity that's what we have been talking that vedanta is not meant for everybody again and again i am highlighting this point because unless i am matured vedanta is not going to for me if the insecurity management is most important thing in my life please understand insecurity management if it is primary in my life then i will be giving priority what to whom to the insecurity like whenever i am free let me attend class some people are doing it okay so whenever i am free let me attend class if i am not free eh, go to wherever it wants this is a simple like, example okay nothing will happen same thing also some people can say oh look i am attending classes all the time that is also equally bad okay don't worry okay <laughs> both are extremely okay, extremes oh some i don't want to miss the class okay first do you miss yourself <laughs> no no some except missing me i miss everybody everything okay please fix your screws <laughs> however coming back to the point let me not get into too much it doesn't look nice because i have to complete another two more verses so that's why he says the person who looks at that one atma that which pervades everything and how is it possible we look at this tamas sattva tam rajas and tamas sat, sorry tamasik rajasik and sattvik in three levels so when is a three levels the first category tamasik people they look at their source of knowledge is their self perception or tarka nyaya reasonings or any so called science so they rely upon that only whatever they see whatever they perceive whatever they experience that is the primary and in addition to that they also believe if other people have experimented so they are experiment if i am not in a position to experiment if somebody has experimented and put it analytical way i accept called scientific research what is scientific research which i am not able to do it somebody has done experimented analytically has put it and i don't have any problem they say give me scientific proof so for them they are talking to tamas agyana and to them don't waste your time we'll be seeing that second category called we say that their source is not this the source of knowledge is they look at mind differently they don't believe in you know this uh, mind is nothing but physical brain plus neurological wirings no this is there is mind there is sukshma sharira behind that karana sharira also is there but problem is when they look at themselves as jiva as an individual which travels but they have a small limitation so what is that limitation the limitation is very unique that they believe in there are plenty of lives plenty of jivas and their source of knowledge is purva bhaga of veda so they do look at purva bhaga of veda some people look at different religious text if the religious text doesn't talk of course they will not believe in it that's another point whereas the sattvik gyana people for them the source of knowledge is what vedanta shastra as a pramana however with this let us go to the next prathak 
तेन तु यानाभावन पृथक विधान व्यक्ति सर्वेश भूतेषु तज्ञान विधिराजस विधि मे यू नो सो वाट यू मे यू नो तत् दैट राजसम ज्ञानम इति सो दैट नॉलेज इज कॉल्ड राजसिक नॉलेज यत ज्ञानम बाय व्हिच नॉलेज व्यक्ति वन सीज वन अंडरस्टैंड्स सो व्हाट डज द पर्सन अंडरस्टैंड इस इज लुक पृथक विधान नाना भावान सो पृथक विधा विधान मींस वन हु इज मैनिफेल्ड नेचर्स manifold things are nothing nana bhavan many including many jivas so he looks at this manifold natures many jivas sarveshu bhuteshu tu prathakvena so they are in all the beings are in a different way so that means they believe in differences That's why I am not you. You are not me. My papa will go not go to you. Your punya will not come to me. Thank God. <laughs> They believe very carefully. So that's why. So each one stands in the queue to make sure God, my punya should not go to others. My papa can go away, okay? But my punya should not go to others. Nor others' papa should come to me. If by mistake their punya can come to me, I can accept it, but not their papa. So there is a struggle, there is a fight. Okay, <laughs> let us not get into. So in short, these people highlight that there are different lives. Each life is different, and in each life, different entity. and this different entity will continue in fact they will pray to the lord oh lord to make sure i don't mind please let me be born again and again to serve you so let me in a better position so that i will be a better servant dasoham dasoham iti so very nice concept and which is good also nothing wrong in it okay so, but here is being highlighted as we have seen this that they don't believe in it that there is vedanta shastra even though they study vedanta they try to interpret all the verses differently conveniently and lord krishna highlights that that gyanam is called as rajasik gyanam okay i understand then what about sattvik gyanam Let us sorry, ta tamas gyanam, not sati gyanam. Sorry, tamas gyanam. My mind is other way around. Okay, yet to Krishna vad, yet to Krishna vadi kasmin karya sakta mahi tu kam atat atatvartha vadal pamcha tat. तामसमुदाहृतम वी हैव सीन इट से इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुली तामसम तत् उदाहृतम दैट नॉलेज इज सेट टू बी तामसिक नॉलेज सो व्हाट इज दैट यू शक्त सो व्हिच इज अटैच्ड to what ekasmin karye to one individual body and not only that krishna vat as if it were everything and also this knowledge is called ahetukam it's very beautiful he uses ahetukam means it is considered as illogical unreasonable and of course o tatvartha vat it is not truthful either untruthful cha alpam is very limited 
what it wants to communicate. The practical aspect is when a person looks at Deha as everything. Dehe nashte aham nashta. Dehe prushte aham prushta. So when his body is destroyed, I am destroyed. When the body is mm, I am also mm. So everything moves based on body. So I will tell you, it's very difficult to relate with that person. Because that person, what does he or she do? takes care of only body, body comfort and related to people, those who are going to take care of the body. Either those who are born from the body or they are, you know, uh, or this body is born from them, means parents and children or other people, those who are related to take care of body or body comfort. The moment their comfort is being challenged, you will see them in a different way. They will not mind to talk against you. It's like snake. Whatever you may do with the snake, even if, do not pet snake, people have got a pet snake, okay, nowadays. I don't know what are the things people are having nowadays, okay. <laughs> so, pet snake, you think, to me, understanding is not safe. I remember one incident, I think somebody told me in Chennai, very nicely explained, I was shocked to hear to him. So he had a python as his pet. Because from our childhood, I have heard that a python is safe as long as eyes are not open. So it takes almost six months eyes to open. Once eyes are open, python is not safe at all. So this fellow, you know, as a pet taking care and everywhere was moving very nice and all these things. And of course, this fellow's eyes had opened. So few days, this fellow, this python was not eating. Some six, seven days did not eat properly. So this fellow was worried, tried to give something or other, never ate. So daytime, this fellow was lying down. My, uh, this thing go, may go down. So this fellow was lying down. And suddenly he woke up with some small soft touch and he discovered this python was just sleeping next to it. Very unusual way. He got shocked and of course woke up. Then he straight I called the doctor. The veterinary doctor. Look, this python was not eating. Now daytime when I, I woke up with the soft touch, this fellow was just sitting straight away next to me. The veterinary doctor said, Please get rid of that fellow as quick as possible. He said, what do you mean by it's my pet? How can you? Don't listen to anything, anybody. I don't want to waste my time with you. Just get rid of it. He said, why? Because few days back you said not eating. Yes, last 10 days almost not eating. Exactly. So that fellow has already planned to eat you. So while sleeping, he was measuring you whether can shallow his body is bigger than you or not. So he was measuring you. So that means if that body is, his body is bigger than you, definitely in the night would have captured you. Imagine. So this set of people, what sort of explanation you can give? Oh, it's my child, like people have got a dog, okay? It's, you cannot call the name of the dog, okay? You have to call the, no, you, do, you cannot call that dog as dog. You have to call the name, okay? So this sort of people don't waste your time in arguing. So also, anybody is connected to the body. This is the point I would like to highlight, nothing else. Whoever is connected to body and body comfort, don't waste your time arguing with that person. Thank you. That much you can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah continue. So that you are in a safer position. That person also talks very high of you. Oh, this person is very nice. Why to rub a person when the person wants to sleep? That's why any hedonist, they talk illogical thing. That's why whoever tries to open their mouth, it is scientific research. It is scientific. 
God said, if you are smart, intelligent, keep you quiet. Yeah, thank you. Really, it is scientific. And your silence is really scientific, okay? <laughs> Nothing else. More of it. We'll see. Om. Om Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnat, Purnamudachyade, Purnasya, Purnamadaya, Purnameva, Vashashyade, Om Shanti, 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 Shanti.